Hi everyone. I have a video tonight talking about some Victoria's Secret perfumes and these are probably the most popular four and I'm going to review them and um, give you some of the notes in them and talk about my my opinion on them and you know which ones I recommend and stuff like that. So I have Sexy Little Things Noir Victoria's Secret Bombshell Victoria's Secret Very Sexy Sheer Mist and the most popular Dream Angels Heavenly so I have got a, a piece of paper and I've sprayed them on these and allowed them to dry so I will be able to um, not get them mixed up like by um, spraying them on myself so the first is the Sexy Little Things Noir and this has nectarine, amber, and orchid along with a few other things. I sprayed it on this. Um, it's not overly fruity. It's just very um, floral and you, you can get the amber but it's not overpowering. It's kind of like like a soft, um, like a more, I would say, fruity spin on like Bath and Body Works Sensual Amber. So it's kind of like that. Okay. Next is the Bombshell. And this has Purple Passion Fruit, um, Yellow Peony, and Vanilla and Orchid. This one is a lot different. Um, it's it's floral but it's not musky at all and it has no amber or anything like that it's like straight floral it does smell nice um it, it might be a little bit fruity by way of the passion fruit but otherwise i just smell a nice blend of florals with a little bit of vanilla so it, it is a nice mix and it's not overly too sweet so that's that's pretty good too Okay, next is the Very Sexy Sheer Mist, and this has pepper, clementine, musk, vanilla, amber, blackberry. So it sounds like there's a lot of stuff thrown in there, and I'm expecting this to be really overwhelming, but we'll see. Wow, that's, that's interesting. You can actually smell the pepper, like it smells like black pepper. That's the top note. Um, but on the same token, you can also smell the clementine and um, like the blackberry. That's nice. It's different. It's really musky and um, like kind of a black amethyst, sensual amber, kind of deep, um, kind of dark spin on it. But it's spicy too. It's like they took some of the notes from all of the popular Bath and Body Works scents and put them in here, plus pepper. So that's that's good. I would say this is this very sexy scent. It's dark, but it has no floral, no fruit, really to speak of. When it says blackberry, don't think like super sweet blackberry. It's just a dark um, berry tone. Okay, and finally we have the Dream Angels Heavenly. This is their most popular. Um, it's a blend of white peony, vanilla, and sandalwood. Mmm, that's nice. It's a very cozy, warm, and comforting scent. I'd say this is probably the least sexy of the bunch. It's just a really nice, sweet... It's, it's like got a little touch of baby powder almost. Not like Moonlight Path, like a good smelling baby powder. And you can definitely smell the vanilla and sandalwood with a just tiny bit of floral. So, um, if I had to pick my least favorite out of all of these. Let's see, I gotta give them another quick. I'd probably say the bombshell. It's too floral for my tastes. Um, it's just floral. There's nothing spun in there to make it a little bit deeper. It's just very overwhelmingly floral. But if you like florals, this would be a nice one because it doesn't have those other notes strewn into the mix. Um, 
the most interesting is definitely the very sexy. It's it's different. Um, I give that the vote for most unique. And out of all of these, which one would I purchase? Probably the sexy little things noir. It's nice. It's got the fruity floral thing, but also has the amber in there to kind of tone it down. It seems like a lot of these are extreme, like extreme floral or extreme spicy uniqueness or just, you know, kind of straight up girly, nothing overpowering. But the, excuse me, um, the Noir is a nice balanced scent. So I hope this video was helpful, helpful for any of you out there who have been curious to try some of Victoria's Secret perfumes. Um, they do have some nice ones, and if you didn't know, um, Bath & Body Works and Victoria's Secret are owned by the same company, so you do find a lot of similarities between the scents. So I hope this video, you know, helped you narrow some of them down and get an idea about what they were all about. So stay tuned because I've got another video coming up tonight. And as always, please comment, rate, and subscribe, and leave any requests for me below. Thank you for watching. See you all later. Bye.